I just wanted to take a few minutes to do a very quick uh, non-technical review of the Z5. I got shipment of it Friday morning right before I headed out for a wedding and thankfully I had enough time to get the camera set up, set up the controls and everything the way I'm used to with my other Nikons. It didn't take that long, the menu was very familiar after shooting Nikons for the last 11 years. And overall I found the camera very comfortable, very easy to use. I've used a lot of other mirrorless systems but held off on Nikons because I really felt like I would feel more comfortable with a, um, a dual card slot setup and so as soon as this camera was released I pre-ordered it. I think the price is excellent. It's basically like using a D750 uh, except for um, even with the lower frame rate I had no buffer issues. Um, first looks are usually when I might experience some problems um, but I did not have any issues at the time. Autofocus is snappy. I am only using one Z mount lens at this point, which is the 50 millimeter. I like it a lot. It's got a really uh, beautiful character to um, the background, very sharp lens. Um, the in-body stabilization helped for this shot, which is with macro rings. Um, I wanted to pack less for this wedding, so I did not bring my macro lens. Battery life was good since the camera came uh, right before I left for the wedding, I did not have a chance to charge the battery that came with it, so I just popped in a D750 battery, which worked fine. Um, I was able to charge the um, stock battery for the Z5 uh, on my way to the wedding, so I did end up switching to it later on in the day. But I would say all in all, I probably only used about one battery, um, maybe one and a half The experience using the camera was very, very natural. I didn't feel like I had to um, get used to anything too much. Again, it was very familiar from using other Nikons. It felt like a D750. Autofocus was good. I think it's not quite on par with the D850, but the D750, again, is probably my most similar experience with this camera. I did not have a chance to try um, face and eye autofocus. Didn't have a chance to figure out how to turn it on and the wedding was just too busy for me to figure that out. I did have a chance to test it out earlier today and um, it, it seemed to work really well, uh, even with me walking towards my subject and continuously tracking face. It was um, the shots that I took while I was moving were pretty sharp. So I'm impressed so far with the uh, eye autofocus and the face focus. You can also see that I'm using an 85 millimeter on the lens adapter and autofocus was actually pretty snappy for something that was adapted. So something I really thought was um, well thought out with the Z5 is the way it handles exposure preview because so right now what it's doing is it's showing me a preview of what the exposure would look like if I were to take a picture right now. And you can see that right here, it matches with the live view. And right now the flash is off, but as soon as I turn the flash on, the camera automatically adjusts the exposure so that I can see in the dark setting because the camera uh, is basically saying uh, the, the resulting exposure is not going to be reliant on the camera settings as much as what the flash is set to. So it's saying, okay, let's give you a little bit more um, light to see in, in this dark setting, knowing that that's more helpful, you know, and uh, this was really handy on a dance floor for the wedding I had the other day. Um, I, I've used a, Z, um, a, a Fuji X-T3 before on the dance floor, and I had to change the settings uh, in the menu to do exactly what the, the Nikon Z5 does automatically. All these photos were taken with the 50 millimeter Z mount lens. It was great for the dance floor. The dance floor wasn't super dark, so I'm curious to try it out in a darker setting. There was a short sparkler exit where I did not use a flash and just used the available light for the autofocus. And the camera did a great job locking onto them with the available light. 
you'll also see these two shots that um, the first one's just unedited and the second one is edited to bring up the shadows and pull in the highlights a bit and you can see that the files um, edit really nicely.